Welcome to Two Poor Artists. We're poor at juggling and jousting and fire breathing and sword swallowing. But mostly, we're poor at making art. I'm Isaac. And I'm Benj. <clears throat> so, here where we live, the Renaissance Festival has come into town. In our undisclosed location in mm -hmm. which we reside. Yeah, which we've definitely mentioned multiple times. Yeah, so go back and watch before. all of our videos to find the clues. Mm -hmm. Or just look at where the Renaissance Festival is right now. Yep, there's probably more than one though. Yep, but that's what we're drawing. I didn't want to draw this because I have no clue how to spell Renaissance. <laughs> and we never looked it up, did we? But uh, we're going to... I'll look gonna, it up right now. I'm going to draw. I'll text it to you. I'm going to start drawing anyways. Uh, we're going to... We're going to draw this... Renaissance Festival. All right, I got it. Okay. Wait, are we going to a Renaissance Festival or a Renaissance Fair? Pretty sure it's called the Renaissance Festival here, but I think fair and festival are the same thing. Ah, you're drawing a toucan. Nope. A large... It, it's totally a, a black and white toucan. You're, you're looking at it all wrong. It's a man wearing a toucan. No, it's a man wearing like a black. <laughs> His eyes are pretty great. <laughs> He's wearing a black. You drawing like one of the seven dwarves? Uh, I mean, he definitely looks like that, but that's not uh my intention. Hmm. He has a very large ear. I've I've realized. That uh, using only a ballpoint pen when you're trying to like show that something's black is quite yeah. like there are a few tools in the art world that are probably less helpful for coloring in something completely. Like, how do I show that he's wearing a black robe but also has a black sleeve? I thought he was just a ghost. Uh, can he do it? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it started off strong, but mm, I can't. Oh, it's a blunderbuss. If you don't know what a blunderbuss is, like a handheld cannon. No, that's not what this is. It shoots. This is his sleeve. His arm. That'd be a cool act. <laughs> uh, I'd go see the guy at the Renaissance Festival who has a blunderbuss that shoots how arms. Does his hand look mm, he's broken? Gonna, he's gonna do. <laughs> what is it like? A sword? Oh, like a rock on symbol? No, like like a like a fingers sword. facing up symbol. I will choose to believe that's what that looks like if you tell me. Yeah, like like there's one finger, there's the other finger. What I'm more concerned about is um. Is that sleeve not black? No, I mean it's all black. The the pro, like <laughs> I don't know. I mean that that's what I was saying. Like how... you should have done just like a smaller ballpoint pen, like pressed less. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you're just drawing the sleeve and then coloring coloring over it gives us at least the illusion that we once saw yeah, a sleeve. So in. just no. Like if somebody was wearing a like a. A cloak of like the blackest just know black that paint. You wouldn't a, really be able to tell the difference when he put his arm down. Just know that this guy is wearing a black cloak. Like a faded black cloak. No, it's not faded. Except just, for that one arm that's not really faded. Just imagine. Imagine that it's not I faded. Have to imagine I'm looking right at it. He's wearing a a sleeping hat and a sleeping gown. Yeah, see I was gonna do like the whole cool, like dark, like cloaked face thing. But um, I didn't, so there. <laughs> yeah, I, read that. I, I guarantee in movies when you see that like dark, mysterious, you know, cloak pulled over their head character, they mm -hmm. pull up the cloak, you're just instantly disappointed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's just like a normal dude with a big nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that executioner sucks. <laughs> Not scary at all. Yep, that's, uh... that's probably why they wear the cloak, just to look cool. So then. We've got, uh, we're oh, you're not done. 
No, we're going to have this right here. That. The oven mitt. The... <laughs> nope. The dead oven mitt. This is what uh, spines look like, right? I can't wait to see this, you know, anatomically correct. 200 and what is it, 18 bones? Um, fortunately, I don't know the answer to that, so you will not be seen. <clears throat> How many ribs does a human have? Three on each side? <laughs> I mean, if they have four fingers in this world, I guess three ribs is fine. <laughs> how do you how do you draw ribs when it's uh For the record, I was off by twelve. It's two hundred and six bones in the human body. Okay. For all of you high school biology students who have a test coming up. I thought that's even a question. Oh, I'm pretty sure I remember biology in high school that being a question. And then having to name a bunch of them. See, like, naming that, maybe. Mm, the butt bone. Good job. Yeah, I don't know what... Why does the butt have holes? In it? Why is there Isn't holes? Isn't that what the pelvis looks like? That's like holes? Uh, it's like a eight. I'm moving to do so much research today. <laughs> I don't know what boat... Like, I've never... Like, I don't even know if I had a biology class. Okay, it does have two holes in it. But it's also, like, got the whole part that is, like, the hips and the every other part this yeah. guy had really beefy legs no just the bones <laughs> like skin and bones but his bones were so big that he still had big legs yeah and then there's feet bones that you can assume exist <laughs> just just a, one one foot bone just per foot that that they existed and then he's got so it's it's 206 oh, bones man. as an adult and then you have about 300 bones i think when you're a baby because of your skull it's like then, for a lack of a better term it's like shattered but on he's purpose got, he's got a hand bone with finger bones i mean i have never seen this at the renaissance well no that's not entirely true i guess our renaissance festival has like the the, the hall of torture where you pay like additional money to go in and see a bunch of wax figures being tortured mm -hmm. but see here's the thing oh gosh he's a really big arm bone too you uh don't know the pun i'm getting at because see renaissance has a couple different meanings do you tell one of the meanings is a revival or renewal in a topic and or or of, of interest and see i think that nobody's really done good necromancy in a while <laughs> oh so oh, yeah. this that is, is a revival one of the lost arts yeah uh so this is a revival of the arts of reviving mm, yes so that it's guy a pun. was it's revived a, very poorly it's a pun what is that? This oh. is uh Why does he have a tail? It's not a tail. It's totally a tail. It's not a tail. This is his oh, tombstone, tombstone that he's that he had was resting behind. And it says, you know, the normal R I and then you can assume that there's a P there. Mm-hmm. No, that was great. <clears throat> um yeah, so So a revival of the art of, of the reviving. art of necromancy yeah the art of the necromancy, art of necromancy. Is that an art <laughs> yeah why not i mean it doesn't have to be an art it just means a revival of or renewed interest in something are you reading that off your phone you are reading that i off am reading phone. that off my phone so this guy's just like newly interested in necromancy in necromancy yeah like it, it's a renewed interest because obviously people like used people to are be. like man all the people today suck wasn't it great when we could just bring back everybody? And so they're like, you know what? Why haven't we been doing that all this time? Just fell out of style, I guess. So they're yep. bringing back all the... Okay. 
And then, um, now I need to look up how to spell the word best. Oh, here, I have it on my phone for you, because I was going to look it up oh. later. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, We're so bad. Festival. Okay. Yeah. So, and, uh, I mean, I could have drawn, you know, background festival. But no, uh, this this kind of I think this you can just assume there's like others doing the same thing. There's just like a group of them who maybe, are like maybe there's like been studying up. Maybe there's like a Ferris wheel made out of bones in the background. That's that that would be a that horrible you, way to be revived that you can't see. Uh, but yeah, this this would be the end for my drawing here. One of the seven dwarves turned evil. Page twenty nine. You yep. think we're going to get better before we're 30? Nope. Yeah, me either. But we will keep drawing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we do our outro, right? Yeah, I think that's how it goes, right? <laughs> okay. All right, well, let me get I over there so I can keep to, drawing. To draw some sort of Renaissance festival. I can't wait. All right. Renaissance festival. The Ren Fest. The Ren Fest. We should have just said that we so we didn't have just, to look it up. Yeah, we should have just never even wrote the word renaissance. Probably would have been for the best. Even but... festival is a surprisingly annoying word to spell. It's probably right. on like a second grade spelling list bench. Yeah, but like it's a weird one for a second grade spelling list. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like how many words even have the letter V in it? That dot is already in the wrong spot. <laughs> well, too bad. Our solemn oath that we made. <laughs> yes, indeed. What a what a shame that is. What does a horse's butt look like? <laughs> <laughs> um, it has like two big muscles. Oh, wow! You're oddly acquainted <laughs> with the horse's butt. I actually. You may or you may not know this, but I did take. <laughs> you didn't bring up a story. <laughs> I did take an art class before. <laughs> it involved a horse's like, butt. Like when I was a kid. Uh, Your poor art teacher is watching and, this, just and, crying. Uh, and a horse is like one of the only things I learned how to draw. But also, my art style is, you know, of the faces can be attributed to that same art class. I feel like that art teacher just jumped off of a building somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure whoever they are, they're proud of me. I don't I don't remember who. You don't even have so. someone to thank? No. When we're at the art awards this year, who are you gonna Who are all, you gonna thank? All I remember is horses and faces. Make up a name for her, like Mrs. Butterworth. Mrs. Artley. Artley? <laughs> yeah. If Mrs. Butterworth taught you how to make syrup. <laughs> yeah. You would never learn art from... I mean, we can just stop there, right? Horses butt. And... That's what it's called today. This is the Renaissance Festival. What you see? Okay, now there's a man on this horse. Okay. Now you always, you always got to draw. I mean, real artists don't have to. Uh, because they use the tools. But when you're drawing with only a, a ballpoint pen, you have to remember to always draw what's in front first. I imagine it must be easier to not have to think like that, but that's a man. <laughs> okay. It's quite unfortunate. I'll, I'll believe you for now. Thank you. He's really skinny, apparently. Like, he's as skinny as his leg is. That's a long boot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that his arm? So it is. That's too bad for him. I never had an art teacher bench. <laughs> <laughs> What part is that a part of the guy? It's his head. Why is it so far back? Like, why is it behind his butt? 
Das ist es. I'll, I'll, I'll How give are it. you gonna attach that guy's head to his body? <laughs> I'll give a reason. Uh, I'll give a reason. <laughs> At this point, you should draw the head lower down, and then draw that as the helmet being hit off his head. I or thought something. about that. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> this is like as bad as my worm guy I drew a while back. <laughs> There's no fixing it now, is there? No. <laughs> She's got some weird armor, okay? <laughs> it's just not what's happening. <laughs> like, look how far down his arm is. <laughs> I don't even know that I should continue. <laughs> Yeah, my vote is that you just finish up quickly. He's not even sitting on the horse. <laughs> He's like that thing they do where they like stand up and sit down. It's fancy. <laughs> yeah, you should just finish What's up quick. What does the horse's head look like? You should finish quick so we can be over with this. Maybe it's a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Humpless camel. Oh man, his neck is so long. <laughs> well, I was thinking camel all of a sudden. So <laughs> he's riding a camel now. Yeah, a humpless. A humpless camel. <laughs> Maybe I could like. <laughs> you just assume there's a really small hump <laughs> right, right where he's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there is this. <laughs> well, this I will say the camel is less weird looking than the guy. <laughs> Plus, his helmet is more like a robot than a <laughs> knight. Well, I mean, some of those Renaissance guys were actually robots. And why is the butt <laughs> not connected to his hind leg? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like a sagging butt that's secret. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Any, anything you do at this point <laughs> will just make it look terrible. Oh, no. It's already all so bad. Uh, all right. <laughs> at least, at least we're fulfilling our promise of never getting better. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the sad. Oh gosh. <laughs> It's one of the sagging butt camel horses. <laughs> oh, yes. I've heard about those. They <laughs> were all the rage in the Renaissance. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. This is a saddle. Yeah, saddle. <laughs> Horse. <laughs> Head. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That butt is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Let's just say he's like, something happened up mm -hmm. here. He's like... Like, is he jousting or something? Maybe he got hit by a... <laughs> An arrow? An arrow, yeah. Yeah, just that... Yeah, and it <laughs> messed up everything in here. <laughs> like, this guy is clearly dying. <laughs> this horse has bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> they killed him because they saw his horse. <laughs> They're just trying to kill the horse they missed. <laughs> Put it out of its misery, they say. Anyway, 
There's two things the Renaissance Festival is really known for. Art? No. I've always thought that was weird. Like, the whole... Na the name Renaissance is just the n renewal of art. And the Renfest is usually about not that at all. It's like the opposite. It's like right before the Renaissance. Like when medieval still was the thing. Yeah, so we've got... The, oh, gosh. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's got a turkey leg for a sword, mm -hmm. you know, because that's pretty normal for the Renaissance Festival. Yeah, yeah, turkey legs is something to get at the Renaissance Festival. Uh-huh, turkey legs, jousts. I think you should probably just sign your name and... <laughs> I'm just trying to think of some way to distract from... Like, if I drew something amazing over here... Yeah, but see, think of it this way. The more you draw, the longer people have to look at the drawing. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the horse saying that? I mean, the guy's already been ended. <laughs> hit in the head. The, the moved his shoulder down and hit him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like when you play airsoft or something with like yeah. a super annoying. That's so thing. true. Like you shoot them over and over and over again, and there's like you don't even feel it. Yeah, it's like I can see the bruises. <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yep, nope. Might as well give him. I don't think that helped at all. Because now it like, lines up with his belly somehow. Yep, and you're just like, what? what is he walking on? What is that? It's, you know. Chain coming in. From the sky. I already spelled it wrong. <laughs> yeah. That was actually an A. There's two S's, that's what it is. Mm hmm. Such a long, weird. Like, whoever came up with that word. Should be punished. Yes. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> was he giving that horse? Yeah, that was his punishment. It has nothing to do with the arrow. <laughs> Are you going to try to make this sign look like it's made out of wood? I missed with that ring. <laughs> yeah, wood's not straight. Not in that Renaissance. No. Oh, is there a second sign? Right under the first sign? Because, you know, when you're at the Renaissance Festival, really, you're trying to decide, like, what you're going to go see, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, do we go see the jugglers? Do we go see the fire eater? Do we go see the whatever it is? But no, this is no. the Renaissance Festival. And the you old... go to... Get bread bowls. <laughs> I mean, only our fancy Renaissance <laughs> festival. But yeah, we bread bowls are definitely the best deal yeah, there. By far the best deal. <laughs> the world's coming to an end over there in your pocket. What the heck is that? It's my alarm to wake <laughs> me up for supper. <laughs> wake you up for supper? <laughs> what kind of schedule do you keep? <laughs> 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 Whatever schedule I want. Most people set like alarm clocks in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's weird. Do you have like a scheduled nap on this day, or do you just sleep in really late on Thursday? Uh, it's it's usually when I take a nap because it's like you know done done with work, and then it's like oh, it's near the end of the week. I should take a nap. Come 
see Jim. <laughs> I could have just left it at that. <laughs> but the name of the horse is Bottoms. <laughs> it's a good horse name. Bottoms up the brave. Good horse name. You should probably put horse in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will. <laughs> brave is <laughs> It's much more accurate yeah. to what you see at the Renaissance Festival now. Uh, I already put the title technically up there. Yeah. No, unfortunately, I, I won't make you write Renaissance again. Thank you. That would be a bit much. Aha! I mean, honestly, if this guy <laughs> and his horse thing was making an appearance at our Renaissance Festival, I would probably never go again. I'd be first in line. <laughs> see, I would not. I mean, if this was like the main event, so like they're clearly advertising here, yeah, we would never go back. <laughs> but. You gotta see Jim and his saggy horse at least once. I think just seeing this artistic drawing of it is more <laughs> than I can handle. Yeah, it's, it'd be great. It's like the, you know... Like, like I can handle the saggy butt horse, but his arm is just not in the right spot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like... <laughs> is this part of the armor? No, no part of his body is natural. <laughs> what is that? Is that his arm? <laughs> that just like worse somehow. Uh, see, this is why we shouldn't add the things after yeah. the names on it. This is, this is why you should have stopped a long time ago. Yeah, but now we get to see who he is and what's wrong with the horse. <laughs> uh, well, we hope you have a Renaissance Festival near you where you live and you can go enjoy things just like this. Except hopefully better. What, like necromancy? I would rather watch necromancy <laughs> than this. That might be right. I think, I think necromancy might be less sinful, too. <laughs> it's less unnatural. <laughs> uh, nobody's bringing back this horse. <laughs> no, just let me die. Uh, well, until next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. As always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time. <laughs>